My name is Bob Chipman, and uh, whew, I am your real father. Wait, which one of these is this? My name is Bob Chipman. I am the film critic for EscapistMagazine.com. I got into this business because I was doing a video game-based web show called The Game Overthinker, which was, at the time, this is about six, seven years ago, was just starting to take off. Um, started putting some movie reviews up on YouTube to go along with it, and uh, got a call from uh, Escapist Magazine, uh, the website, and said uh, they were looking for a film critic, and uh, now here I am. So far, it's working out. And that's good, because I was working in retail for like ten years before this, so yes, thank you, Internet. My favorite movie is Robocop. Uh, I don't necessarily like to defend it as like the greatest movie ever made. It just happens to be the thing that I watch most often that I enjoy watching the most. I just think it's an absolutely terrific movie. I love Paul Verhoeven. I think everything he's done is pretty spectacular, even the bad movies. I mean, it's got like a great story, and they use it as like an allegory, and it's got political stuff going on, and the special effects are awesome. It's violent as hell. It, I can't sell Robocop. Just, if you, have you not seen Robocop? Watch it. It's good. least favorite. You know, like, a, a couple of years ago, my default answer to this was anything with Sandra Bullock. I, I guess now the answer would be most things with Sandra Bullock, but she's kind of turned it around and she started making, like, good movies. Like, The Heat was pretty funny and uh, Gravity looks good, so uh, I, I actually don't have a funny answer for that anymore. Uh, the Transformers franchise sucks. There's that, but that's boring. Everybody says that. Oh, oh the Hangover movies. I hate those. The first one it has its moments. The other two are complete shit. The worst thing about movies right now is uh, chicken shit studios, basically. Uh, I'm not one of these people that... I, I've said I'm not one of these people a lot in this, haven't I? I've got to find a new bridge. I'm not one of these critics that looks at the movie landscape right now and says, Oh my god, it's all remakes, it's all adaptations. You can make a good movie out of anything. It doesn't have to be an original property, but the reason that they're getting so much adaptation stuff out there is because nobody wants to take a risk on anything. So instead, ironically enough, they make much stupider decisions than they ever would have during a risk. Look at the fucking Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger is one of the worst pieces of shit farted out this year or any other year. Now, if you went to anyone with an original property pitch for that and said, Oh yeah, here's this steampunky western where we're going to have this egregiously offensive, racist-ass, Native American stereotype played by a white dude, kind of pasted on over this adaptation of this ancient-ass property that nobody under 60 gives a shit about and people over 60 are going to be embarrassed by, they would laugh your ass out of the studio on that. But you go in and say, it's an adaptation of an old baby boomer classic television series of maximum market penetration and Johnny Depp's in the cast, then they'll make that movie. That's bullshit. The best thing about movies right now is the democratization of film. I know that's a lame film school answer, but it really is a good thing that the studio system has started to open up a little bit and you've got the technology cheaper so that more and more people can get stuff out there. I mean, yes, most of it is still shit, but at least it's out there and there's coming in different varieties. I mean, I'm not one of these guys that goes around and says, oh yes, every small little independent thing that's ever been made has been wonderful. No, 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 no. Most of them suck, but at least there's room for these people to suck and maybe get better. It's like a thousand little Roger Cormans. A few of them will eventually make something worthwhile. Parting thoughts. Uh, be excellent to each other, I guess. I don't know, I got nothing. Yeah, not really Mr. Positive, Uplift, Go Out Into The World and Be Merry kind of guy here. I suppose I should leave it off by saying that I hope you enjoy the Bofka YouTube channel. Please check it out. Uh, check out the uh, Bofka.com website where you can find links to the uh, work of all of our many great members. Thank you very much.